Look at that dumb thing. Eat it. Oh, yeah. What is up, Mappers? Welcome back to another very exciting video. There's a brand new lure on the market that uh, is getting a lot of hype and buzz, or I think a little bit anyways. It is this new Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider. No one's ever really come out with a topwater spider lure. It's kind of like a hollow belly frog design like this one right here, and it actually just won best of show for soft plastic lures at ICAST. Now, the ICAST best of show awards have kind of started to become a little bit of a joke where gimmicky stuff like this and companies just start making gimmicky looking parakeets and frogs and stupid stuff to try to get the best to show award but i don't know i've seen some action videos of this guy in the water it looks like it's got pretty cool action and we might as well go try to get some top water bites because who the hell doesn't like a top water bite this thing looks super super light it's only a quarter of an ounce i don't know how well it's going to cast especially with all the drag there with those legs but i mean this thing looks badass i want to see if it catches some damn fish so we're gonna head to the local creek i'm gonna tie this guy on and we're gonna see if it actually catches some damn fish it's gonna be a fun little experiment let's do it Okay, just got down to a little local creek. As you can see, not very far across, maybe 10 feet across. Lots of shade, little stick up, stuff like that, lay downs. Really, really good cover for uh, this time of day and this time of year because it is super, super hot. This is the heat of summer and so the water should be cooler. There's a lot of shade lines and stuff. I have one rod and one reel with me. It's got my terrifying looking little Lunker Hunt spider on it and a 65 pound braid. This is my frog rod, it's a 7.5 extra heavy. So flipping this guy around might be a little bit difficult since it only is a quarter of an ounce. So uh, let's get testing this guy. Um, this is the only rod and reel I brought. I did bring a couple other frogs. If this guy sucks or falls apart, I want to at least be able to catch some fish today. But uh, testing this guy out is going to be the forefront of my video. All right, before we get too much further, let's check out the action on this guy. It like barely floats. Eh, action's decent. I don't know if you guys can see that, but every time you twitch it, all the legs do in fact move. I like that. Looks good enough. All right, yeah, I think something might eat that as long as we can cast it. Oh yeah, that's a tough cast, but we'll see. A lot of times, um, lately, this time of year, I actually just fished a tournament where there was a bunch of lily pads and there was a ton of bass eating dragonflies, so hopefully those same bass are interested in Mr. Spider and I hope it doesn't sink like a rock because that would suck. Looks cool though. As far as collapsibility, it seems decently soft. One thing is this hook on here is tiny and it's covered up pretty well by the body. I didn't open it up at all. They're kind of pointed in as well, so I'm not sure how hookup percentages are going to go. And this bait and these legs seem pretty soft. And I have this on a very stout rod with 65 pound braid, so I'm kind of nervous. It's going to freaking fall apart when I set the hook. Maybe we'll go a little easy on the hook sets today. There's a little spider crawling off the bank. <laughs> There's a bluegill looking at it. Here he comes. Here's bluegill. <laughs> Bluegills love spiders. <laughs> Bass swiped at it. That's our first bite on the spider. My first ever bite on a spider lure. I was gonna say the spot looks absolutely perfect and then a little like two pounder so just came up, chased it, swiped at it. Let's see if he'll eat it this time. <laughs> There's like 10 bluegill around it right now. Swiping at it, swirling around it. So the bluegill are interested. Uh, only one bass so far. Eat it. Oh, yes. Yes. I saw this guy come up to the spider. Oh, no. Oh, he came up. First fish on the spider. And we lost him. Hey, spider's still intact. Man, that was, a, that was a cool little bite. I saw him swim right up to it, nosed up to it, and then just swirled on it. I was wondering if the bites would be like full-on blow-ups. 
or if they'd kind of be like that where they just like sized it up and then swirled on it and ate it. I suppose that answers our question. Also feel like I got a pretty good hook set on him and didn't get him in. So what's up with that Spidey? No dice here. On to the next one. Okay, first spot uh, was a no-go. Caught some fish there recently actually, but I don't feel like the fish could sense the presence of that bait enough. The spider bait just does not have a big draw power. It doesn't have a big presence in the water. It's super, super quiet and natural. So went to another spillway. Gonna give it a shot. Um, never been here before, but I walked up and I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, but there's actually fish bass. You can see all the way up to the spillway right up there. So I'm pretty freaking jacked to get that spider in there. I think this is gonna be a much better area to throw it because it's like super calm water, super clean water. I can see the fish. Look at those fish right there. Yeah, you guys definitely can't see that. It's not focusing in on the right area. And I'm honestly too excited to go fish it, but let's let's throw the spider down there. I think this is where the test is gonna be if these fish will uh, will actually eat it. We did have bites the first spot, but um, I can see way more fish here. First throw in there, you got bit. All right, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up the hook gap on this guy. We have like no vegetation in this spot. There's no reason we need this gap so tight. Yep, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna stick a bunch. This is something you guys can do too, is to just grab this guy, do two different things. We're gonna open it up towards the top with both of them a little bit. And then we're also gonna see how they're kind of pointed inward. This is even more important to point outward, just like laying on a bed of nails, they don't penetrate. If you got two hook points, in the same direction too close together way harder to penetrate a bass's mouth there we go much better it's up off the back Let's see if we can get a hook up oh my god they're freaking crushing this thing i just can't get a hook in them you guys probably don't believe me because you can't see it but i swear we're gonna start down here now and throw up to them Hopefully we can do this without spooking too many. Make a cast down here first. Oh my god. <laughs> Three bites in a row. Of course. Hookup is obviously not great on this. Not at all. Damn. My legs are still intact. About half scared to touch this thing. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Dirty little spider eater. <laughs> How sick is that? That is cool. Well, definitely not a big bass, but uh, let him take it for a little bit longer. And that's all it took. But hey, we officially have our first spider fish that we got in. The first one, of course, the last place we were at came off and it was big. Not giant, but substantially larger than that. Sweet. It does work. Let's see if we can get another one. Got him. Yes. Another one. Another spider eater. <laughs> oh, man. That is fantastic. These aren't big fish, but that is freaking cool. Look at that. Just realized my lens was uh, a little scummed up, but hey, we got spider eater number two. I'll take him. That was super freaking fun. We're actually going to throw this guy back in this little pool back here because I keep seeing them all get spooked. That last one I threw back. Oh, this is pretty cool actually. There's like, there's bass up here rising, almost like trout wood in a little pool, eating little bugs and stuff. So this spider 
is actually not that terrible of a bait to throw a presentation and they clearly haven't seen anything like it problem is I think they're gonna get wise to it pretty quick because this is super shallow and they're already spooked looking at me and stuff that one wasn't <laughs> oh my god yes I got another one they're small but they're mighty that guy liked it all right they do eat the spider I think you gotta have these conditions though I don't think this thing has big draw power but look at that that is insane well, they aren't bigs, but we are catching fish. And they are very aggressive when I do, which I like. I think there might be some big ones in here, though. We're going to get closer up to that spillway up there. I have a feeling at that point, our size very well could increase. There we go. Another one. <laughs> oh man he's covered in mud let's wash him off a little bit he's a little ugly for the camera we don't want that this guy's like the smallest one yet look at that dirty little baby spider eaters i'll take him i don't discriminate today i'm just trying to catch some fish on a damn spider apparently and i'm bleeding everywhere hey it's still intact i'll take it yes another one it's like literally every single cast. Every time I can get this spider in there, that is the result. Not the uh, the size we're after, but definitely a good time. Well, we went from no dice at the first spot to now lots of dice, many dice in this spot up here. Let's see if we can keep it going. All right, let's see if there's anything big up there in the spillway where there's some actual water. Oh my god, he waked it. Oh, he freaking came off. That one might have been bigger. You alive, Mr. Spider? Oh yeah, he's getting he's getting a little screwed up. I feel like this spider was created to be a bait that you get people to purchase once. And that's it. I don't think it's it, it's hardly floating at all anymore. So he got it. Yep, he's got it. I bounced it off the concrete wall and he ate it. Oh my god, my spider's falling apart. But these little dudes are loving it. Look how far up my, the line my spider is now. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess this is going to be a good opportunity for you guys to see what the internals look like on this guy. Weak, weak little weight system. I almost wonder. Well, no, I don't wonder because I feel like if you added more weight to that hook, it would no longer float. But this, this thing should have been made bigger. Like, it's cool and all that we're getting bit by these little fish, but the problem was in the first spot, it didn't have a near big enough presence. And so those bigger three to four pound fish just weren't seeing it, and I think it was the middle of the day, so they didn't want to mess with it. Oh God, he got it. Yep. It's literally every time I throw in there, these angry little spillway guys crush it. Look at that. Look, I got it deep. He's a little better one. Not giant, but better. I mean, he's a solid pound, maybe. You know what? At least we're catching fish. There we go. Come here, bud. Okay, they eat it. They do, in fact, like the spider. It's to the point now where I'm basically just like, making it haul ass across the surface because it's sinking <laughs> like a damn rock and my voice is echoing off that concrete it's probably spooking fish but not a giant i'll take him i don't think there is big ones in this lake right now or in this spillway i guess who knows we're gonna we're gonna keep trying see if it happens god damn it yeah i mean it's to the point now where I pretty much got to reel it to keep it on top of the water. Yes! Oh my god, that was a sick bite. Hey, Bahud. Hi. What do you think about the spider? I know, it's terrifying. Scared me too. And you spined my hand. That also sucks. Sweet. Getting bit. Not big, but can't beat it. Hey, little guy. Go get bigger. 
Well, not the size we want, like I keep saying, but oh my god, one already had it as it hit the water. Definitely not the size we want, but this might be a place I need to take Max in the near future because it's clearly loaded with fish. Oh, he missed it. That one did not miss it. Ooh, what do we got here? Is it a better one? Oh, ho, ho, look what we got. Little hammer handle guy. That pretty much means Mr. Spider is Gandhi. <laughs> yep. Look at Mr. Spider. He's gone. We're definitely going to use the pliers on this guy. Yep, I think that'd be the wise thing to do. Got ourselves a little north head. Not quite as big as the one Josh caught the other day. Pretty close, though. Definitely close. Just like 35 inches shorter. I think Josh's was like 37 inches total. No, oh, we lost a leg. Surgery's not going great. Okay, I'll take the spider back now. Thank you, Mr. Toothy Northhead. I think we got him good, too. He should live. Let's get this slimy little bastard back in the lake. Stinky little thing. You really need to go get big. You got it, Mr. Pike. Brian's probably editing this video right now. Loving that, because I think pike are like his favorite species to catch secretly. Come on, I want another bass. I know you're only 10 inches long, but God, those are fun blow-offs. <laughs> oh yes, this is, uh, they're not bigs, but damn it. Topwaters, spiders, I guess. Topwater spiders, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> it's definitely made a big difference in my fish landing by letting them take this guy. There's a lot of tentacles and stuff going on for them to get around to actually get to Mr. Spider. But, sweet. I'll take it. Once I open those hook gap up, yeah, we're, we're definitely blown out there. We don't got much Spidey left. Still enough that we can catch fish on it though. Honestly, this is probably gonna be the last time using it. Oh my God, so aggressive. And these little fish too, don't stand a chance on the new mf -er frog rod that yes, has not been released yet. I know you guys are gonna give me a hard time in the comments. We are so close to being able to release this rod. Another one, pretty little bastards. Bass, I mean, not bass turds. Well guys, I think we may have caught all the ones that are willing to bite in this little pool, this little spillway right here. You can still see them swimming right down there, but those are probably ones I've already caught, to be honest. There's only a limited amount of water here. But uh, I'm going to give you guys a full review of what I think when I get home on this spider guy. Definitely some pros and cons of it. But I need you guys to let me know if you want to see me do more fishing at these little spillways. Because a lot of them have some decent bass at them. Clearly this is not one of them, but I need to know the obscure lures you want to see me use to catch fish or if you want to see any more like this at all. This lure came out, it looked gimmicky to me, but I thought I'd come give it a try. And it's catching them. And honestly, the smaller size of the hooks, the smaller stature of the bait and the, the width and profile of the bait, is probably better at this little spot than a bigger frog because they wouldn't be able to get their mouse around it because almost every, not almost, every one we've caught has been smaller. So win for the spider, I suppose, since we might not be catching any of these bites if we had a bigger bait. What I'm saying is I'm never using anything besides the spider again. Yep, I definitely need to hop up here. There's another little pool where I think the water's coming in. If there's any fish there, they haven't seen me yet. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe that's where the biggins are. Oh, yep. Yep. Could have told you that was going to happen. <laughs> We've got fresh fish that haven't seen our bait yet. Oh, 
Oh, a pike! Yes! Another pike! <laughs> Pikes love scum. You know what else they love? Bite your damn finger off. Oh god, he's slimy, he's pissed off. Dude. Chill. Damn it! Hey, we got two pike. Sick. Alright, Mr. Angry Pike. See you later! Okay guys, just got home from fishing. I'm damn glad to be in the shade. Just looked at the heat index. It is 118 degrees for the feel like temperature. Not a very cool day. You know, we accomplished the task of getting out, catching some fish on this spider lure. It does catch fish. This lunker hunt uh, phantom spider, that is. Let's talk about what I thought about this bait. Um, the pluses and the minuses. First off, what I liked about it, uh, it's obviously very, very natural. It's a natural looking bait. It's a natural feeling bait. And it's a natural acting bait in the water, which means when I fish that second style spot, the first one too a little bit, um, but the second one, especially when you had shallow water, very slick, calm, and very clean water, Every fish was able to see this bait, saw the lifelike action in the water, and they came up and freaking crushed it. Another plus, I guess, if you have a lot of small fish in your area, this is a lot more of a finesse topwater bait. It's got a lot smaller hooks, it's a smaller profile, um, it's, it weighs a lot less, so it's a lot less disturbance on top of the water. So if those are the conditions, it's really, really slick, calm, sunny, maybe smaller fish, maybe this guy is the way to go. Now, as far as the negatives go, um, once again, the, the positive also is the negative there. It's a very small bait. It's a very light bait. I wish they would have made it bigger because it's only a quarter ounce. It doesn't cast very well at all. Um, durability is definitely not very good either. Um, I, we obviously caught a lot of fish today. I think after the first bite or two, it started sinking slowly. By the end, it was sinking like a rock. Uh, in my opinion, a hollow belly frog topwater type lure like this guy right here um, should not be a one day 10 fish bait and that's exactly what it ended up being and to be honest I think we would have caught some more fish if it was about uh, twice the size weight disturbance at the first spot and really draw those fish up out of some of those trees and stuff but live and learn that's my opinion on this guy let me know what you guys thought about this video down below we didn't catch any giants on it we lost one that was about three pounds right in front of us that's how it freaking goes sometimes but hey we went out we caught fish on a spider topwater lure never had used one before today we went out we got some. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please go hit the subscribe button right now if you want to see more bass fishing, top water, slaunch sticking videos like this. Catch you soon. I'm out of here. Peace.